Hello friends, my name is Rizam Masood. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the sprint velocity. And today's topic is very interesting and very important with respect to Scrum and Agile methodology. So let's start friend. First of all, I request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's start friend. What is sprint velocity? First of all, we have to understand friend that basically it's a topic related to project management. Whenever we are implementing project by using the scrum framework, so this concept came here, the sprint velocity. What is now the sprint velocity? See, a scrum is a framework which we use to manage the projects. We divide the work into chunks and uh, we deliver the project to uh, to the customer by using uh, by in multiple chunks. Now the here, uh, what is now the concept of sprint? Sprint is a three to four weeks time period in which we decide that we have to deliver uh, the deliverables to the customer. Okay, so what is sprint? A sprint is a time box of three to four weeks time period. This is the main concept of sprint here. Now, sprint velocity, what is sprint velocity? Velocity is a measure of the amount of work a team can tackle during a single sprint. Sprint is a three to four week time period and is the key matrix in the Scrum. Scrum is a framework for project management like we use it for uh, managing software projects. Velocity is calculated at the end of the sprint by totaling the points for all fully completed by the user story. User story, what is user story? User story is the functional requirement of a customer. Like for example, if someone says that uh, he wants to build an e-commerce solution and uh, the customer can do the payment through credit card. Okay, so what is this? This is a customer requirement that he can do, customer can do the payment through credit card customer can log in into the e-commerce solution this is one requirement this is one user story customer can uh, see the product catalog on e-commerce solution this is another user story so user story is the functional requirement now how we can calculate the uh, velocity or sprint velocity print simply we add up the total of story points uh, uh, completed from each sprint then divide by the number of sprints what is now the story point story point is the uh, you can say the estimate, estimated uh, number which we give to the uh, to the user required requirement to complete. For, remember, friend, one thing that the story point is not the main days effort. It is the uh, we can say the difficulty level. It is the points which we give to a to a user story a functional requirement to complete it by the uh, by the Scrum team. Scrum team is the team who deliver who complete the work. Now, for example, in the sprint one the team scrum team completed three user stories and having eight points each so there will be sprint one will have the 24 points story points sprint two uh, four user stories were completed and each story has eight points so in total sprint two has 32 story uh, 32 points uh, sprint three uh, five user stories were completed and eight a story having each point so 40 story points each so 24 plus 32 plus 40 it will become total 96 so on an average sprint velocity is 96 divided by 3 3 is uh, total 3 sprints are there so due to which 32 is the sprint velocity of the team okay so what we have actually done uh, in each sprint we have calculated that how many story points have been completed okay then we add up all these story points and then divide by the number of sprints so we have got the uh, sprint velocity. This is the main concept of sprint velocity. Now friend, what is the advantage of uh, calculating the story points that you can now base the amount of work to be done in future sprints on the average of 32 story points. If you have 160 story points remaining to be completed in the project, so you can assume that your team will need another 5 sprints to complete the project. So that is the main concept of sprint velocity. So friend, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And thanks for watching the video. Thank you, friends.